Hi guys, thank you for joining us for another episode of Imperfect But Loved. Franco. Hey, <laughs> how are you guys? So again, my name is Jelly, Lisa, Vanessa, Vivian, and we are Imperfect But, but Loved. Imperfectas, pero amadas. So thank you for joining us today. We are, like I said last episode, in a new place. <laughs> we are in this beautiful, beautiful kitchen that belongs to our beautiful Vivian. Yay. So thank you for joining us. Um, and thank you, Vivian, for opening up your home. Yes. Oh my goodness. Welcome, <laughs> welcome to my home. There's nothing more that I love than to um, entertain. And so this is, I think, beats it all. Yay. Having so Amen. many in my home. Yes. Amen. yes, and we love being here. We are so happy to be here. So let us know, guys, where you are joining us from. Um, yes. We definitely want to give you guys a little shout out. Um, but we definitely want to um, show you guys what we have prepared for you. Or actually, yes. what Vanessa and Vivian yes. will prepare for you guys today. And it's something that's super yummy, right? Yes, yes. We all love it. Our children love it. And we have some great stories to, let you, um, to tell you guys about. So Vanessa, or sorry, Vivian, what are some of the ingredients we're going to be working with today? Um, okay, so we're going to be working with, um, uh, like I haven't made this before, right? <laughs> I know. We're going to be working with butternut squash. Yes. Mm -hmm. We're going to be working with garlic, um, celery, Ooh, carrots, yeah. onions, um, butter. Um, we've got some chicken stock, heavy cream, and at the end we have a dollop of daisy. And of course, some seasonings. Um, we can talk about those a little bit, but you're not, you don't have a Puerto Rican home if you don't have adobo. adobo. <laughs> yeah. So okay. you must use adobo in every dish yeah. you make. Um, so we're just gonna get together and make some butternut squash awesome. soup. Yeah. So we do have some shout outs from Middleton, New York today. Thank you guys from New York. And then some from Oxnard. So thank you guys Yay. for watching. Yes. So yes. Vivian, where do we get started with this dish? We're not gonna tell you guys what it is yet. Um, or oh, what I it's called. I just did. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just did. <laughs> can, can we flaunt our, like, oh, our yes. new aprons? Look at our shirts. Our shirts. <laughs> yes. So we just got our new aprons and our shirts. Um, and we will be talking about them a little bit more. Um, but first off, let's talk about this dish. So there's one ingredient that, um, let's bring it out. So what is this, Vivian? This is a butternut squash. So guys, is butternut squash a fruit or a vegetable? So please comment below, let us know what you think, and we'll tell you the answer in a little bit. But don't Google it, don't, <laughs> uh, don't, don't be a ask cheater. Google, don't ask Alexa, no. Siri. <laughs> don't ask Siri, no. Give us your true answer, um, and let us know what you think. Fruit or vegetable? Hmm. So let's see. The mystery will remain. Let's give yes. it a few minutes. So let's start cutting it yes. up. Let's do it. And um, we'll see what you guys... Um, Ooh, now it's not an easy fruit slash vegetable, because I'm not going to tell you guys what it is yet. Watch your to fingers. To work with, right Vivian? <laughs> it oh, is wow. not. It is very hard to work with. It's like a pumpkin. Yes. Oh. I thought it was a pumpkin. Yes. Okay. So it feels hard. Okay, I can see. see. Oh, yeah, Vanessa's struggling a little bit here. Okay, so somebody said fruit. Da -da -da. Somebody said vegetable. It's a pumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like a pumpkin, but it's a squash. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, so we see some seeds in there. And what are we going to do? Do we keep the seeds in there, Vivian, or do we take them out? We definitely don't want the seeds. Okay, so we have somebody else saying it's a veggie. Um, we have somebody, oh, Christina said, um, squash is so bomb. Okay, but <laughs> it smells it, so good. Is it a vegetable or a wow. fruit, guys? Let us know what it is. It smells <laughs> or delicious. what you think it is. Okay, so we're taking out the... All right, so Rachel Ray has a garbage um, bowl. Uh -huh. We're just going to use a garbage sink. <laughs> okay. <laughs> just throw it in there. <laughs> yes, hey, you know, you got to work with your kitchen with what you got. That's right. Yes. Okay, so we have yes. two people have voted vegetable, one has voted fruit. Okay, yes. so should I tell them what it is, or do you guys want to keep waiting? Should I tell them these Let's, let's yeah, tell them, Jelly. Let's, let's tell them. Okay. Wait, who guessed it right first? Can so you tell? Some, well, it wasn't a, 
they were saying, hmm, a fruit with a question mark. Oh. oh. And then the other two people voted that voted said veggie. So what is it? So technically, ahead. it is a fruit. But in the culinary world, they consider it a vegetable. And so it's a fruit, I think, because of the seeds. Okay. But um, in the culinary world, according to Google, <laughs> <laughs> it is the um, they consider it a vegetable. I thought it was a fruit. Okay. Because of the seeds. It smells so good, guys. Yeah, right? And so that's what good. they said, right? Lisa? Yes. Usually if it has seeds, it's a fruit. Yeah. If it doesn't, it's a vegetable. So that's awesome. So how how is it... Feel when you're doing this, Vanessa. It honestly feels like a pumpkin. Yeah. No joke, but it smells so good. <laughs> I wish you guys can smell this so good. We totally told you guys that we were going to be doing a total show from I Love Lucy. <laughs> <laughs> so this might happen right. um, tonight, right? Yes. <laughs> it's a learning experience for all of us. Um, yeah. So, like we mentioned last episode, I do not like cooking. Or I shouldn't say I do not, because I'm starting to love it. I'm starting to learn to love it. But I did not. It, I, it was like such a, ugh, like something, such a chore. Mm -hmm. Lisa, do you feel like that? Well, I'm blessed to have my mother-in-law living with me, oh, so okay. she does all That's the picking. Awesome. And when she's not there, then I need to pick it up. But <laughs> her <laughs> meals are delicious. Oh, so our, you are lucky. Awesome. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> It's so amazing when we get to have our moms or our grandmothers yeah. or our I totally take advantage of my mother-in-law's home. Yeah. I'm like, please. I swear, God, can you do me that really and good, delicious dish? Like, I know how to make it, but I'm like, <laughs> yours tastes so much better. It, yes. yes. It never tastes the same. Like, nope. my mom, I tried making beans, and I'm like, mom, mine just never tastes like yours. Yes. And she's like, it's the same thing. I'm like, no. What do you do different? <laughs> it's always different. Yes. It is. And you know what my daughter says? It's so funny. She's like, it's the love, mom. It's the love that's different. And I'm like, but I am pouring love into it. <laughs> <laughs> but I understand what she means. And right? it's a dish that I know my husband will definitely enjoy oh. when she cooks. Or yeah. is it that extra butter? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so somebody is asking, we have an Anna asking if the rind is hard to peel. So Vanessa, yes. is it hard to peel? Um, it is tough, okay. but it's definitely manageable. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. So yeah. I just want to add, if you don't have a peeler, I would suggest getting one. Okay. Um, there is a way that my father actually showed me how to cut it, okay. how to peel it. Um, and so Vanessa, just real quick, if you can show them, um, you would, I'm just going to show you real quick. Yeah. So you'll take the knife basically and just run it down like this, right? And so you can peel it that way as well. If you don't have a peeler, just yeah. because if you're peeling it backwards, it's very dangerous because it is really tough. Yeah, okay. So that was a little secret my father showed me. Okay. Mm, that's so awesome. Anna, yes, it's a little bit hard to peel, but there's a little trick that will make it a little bit easier and safer as well. So Vivian, um, is this a dish that would be easy to prepare with kids or no? Well, because it's so hard, I would say this particular piece of it would be very hard um, for them to do. But putting everything in the pot and after everything is boiled and blending it together, I think they can definitely help with that part. Okay, and I'm sure they would love it. Kids love to put things in a blender. I don't yes, know why. they do. Yeah. <laughs> for sure. All right, so Vanessa's cutting it perfectly. Now we're just going to cut it in little chunks okay. um, because what the smaller the chunks, the quicker it will boil. Mm. Okay. Smaller than this? That's fine, actually. That's good. You can just put it right in that, in that bowl. Perfect. Okay. So there you go, guys. Um, oh, we have some. Oh, we have an Eva. I hope you're saying your name right. Eva. Eva. Okay. She says that she misses your dish. Mm. So obviously yeah. this is somebody who has tried your dish before and they love it. So, yes. <laughs> Eva's one that when I would make it, she would um, know I was making it and she'd know there'd be some waiting for her. <laughs> After everyone left, she'd know that she'd had her, she would have her dish. Because that was one holiday that we couldn't spend together because our families were so big. Um, but for the most part, we spent a lot of time together. I miss you so much and I'm not going to cry. <laughs> um, it's a good time. It's a good time. Um, but I would always save her, her, um, her dish and she, oh. I'm so, glad you miss it. That means you miss me. Yes. So um, I hear from you Viv that, you know, you, people are saying that they love your cooking. So have you always loved cooking? Oh my goodness. That's so funny. So no, I, I didn't. Um, at the beginning of my marriage, I did not, um, 
enjoy cooking at all. Um, it wasn't until probably, I don't even know if Eva and I don't know if Carmen's on or Jessica, but we had gone to a women's conference um, in New York, I don't know, maybe 20 years ago, 25 years ago. And the woman was talking about the Proverbs 31 woman. Mm -hmm. And she was that. talking about the woman who, you know, took care of her home and had a segment on cooking. And I immediately was like, seriously, she's going to talk about cooking. I can't stand cooking. <laughs> but what I learned was what transmits from your food when you're preparing it with love. Yeah. And um, it could just, it totally transfers into the food and then into what they're eating, what they're consuming. Yeah. So it's not just a meal. Um, there's so much that goes into it, right? Good ingredients. Um, it's all about the ingredients, but when you're cooking with love, yeah. that main ingredient, mm -hmm. yes. there's nothing better than yeah. that, mm -hmm. right? And so I used to look at it like you, very much like a chore, mm -hmm. like a burden. Like I've got better things to do, like what, watching TV or, <laughs> you know, whatever. Um, I'm working, why do I have to come home and cook? And not that I have to come home and cook. Um, thankfully now my husband um, actually cooks better than me, believe it or not. Um, but when I, get, when I do get to cook, um, it's something that I truly enjoy because there's nothing like having an empty pot, yeah. right? Um, and so I, I just wanted to touch base really quick and say, um, it's, it's, you get an opportunity to serve your family. Yes. And we That's often, you know, we talk about serving and Jesus yeah. and Jesus left to be a servant, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. And so rather than looking at it as a chore, you're serving and honoring your family yeah. in that way. Mm -hmm. So when so you're beautiful. feeding them something, number one, that's, that's tasteful, mm -hmm. and then and you sit around and they're eating dinner and then all of a sudden you hear yeah. one humming because <laughs> the food is so good, you're like, that's like music to your ears, <laughs> Or right? when they ask for seconds. Like, seconds, yes. <laughs> and the pot's empty, right? and you're like, oh, it's gone, or, yes. or my son would always say, if he's watching, he would always say, why do you always cook good when, when a lot of people come over? <laughs> you know, you need to make us those meals too. Um, and so now oh. I do because it's, yeah. what more than loving your family? Yes. Right? Yes. We spend so much time loving others. Love your home. Yes. And then from there, it'll just spew out. Yes. Mm -hmm. so. Oh, that's awesome. So I agree. Yes, I have learned a little bit from Vivian as far as the cooking. Now there's one dish that she taught me to make. I mean, there's a few, but there's one dish that my son just loves. And it's, um, we call it bean soup. <laughs> and see Vivian's bean soup. And he's my picky eater. And he now does eat that. He will finish the whole thing. He will ask for seconds. And this is a kid. I mean, you know who I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. My little one. <laughs> like, you know how picky he is. And he will actually ask for seconds on it sometimes, or most of the time. And even the next day, he'll be like, Mom, can I have more beans? And I'm like, there's no more. You guys finished it. <laughs> and so thank you for Vivian for teaching me how to do that. Now, Vanessa, how yes. do you feel? Have you always loved cooking? No, but I had to love I had to love what my husband loved. And he loves food, so I had to just... <laughs> <laughs> he loves food. Yes. Um, yes. So I know you and have so... a funny story about the first meal you cooked your husband. Yes. Okay, so <laughs> can I continue cutting? Yes, absolutely. Okay. So I, um, I used to have, please don't judge me. I used to live by myself. And so I used to have like my own water, my own salads, um, really like canned food and frozen food. And so, um, yeah, so when I met my husband, um, I asked him, would you like something to eat? And yeah, it was something frozen. Wah, wah. <laughs> but he still, but thank God that he still asked me for that second date. And um, we were, and I was able to really cook something hearty and nice. But yes, I did have to learn, and and I had to just. It's all about confidence. Um, I noticed that if I don't, if we don't have confidence in the kitchen, your food is going to burn. <laughs> <laughs> Especially if you have those um, electric stoves. You know what I'm talking about. Those are so hard, and I. I remember having one of those electric stoves and I would pray like, please, <laughs> you know, doing the rice and stuff. But um, him telling me it was good, it was like, yes. And now that I have kids, it's just so, it's just so rewarding when my kids are like, oh my gosh, mom, this is so good. And they ask me for seconds or when we have like, you know, get togethers and I, and I do food for, um, or I make cook, I, or I, oh, I can't talk, sorry. Or I <laughs> cook for my family and they're like, wow, this is really good. I, I do it differently. Like, what did you add? And so um, really not only confidence in the Lord do we have, but in ourselves too. That's right. Because Amen. we have to delight in the Lord and, 
this stuff makes me so happy, really. Mm -hmm. And now I love food. <laughs> <laughs> I gained a little pounds, but that's okay. <laughs> yeah, so Vivian, what's the next step now? Okay, um, so I, yes. I don't know if you saw, so I was cutting, um, I cut yes. up some onions, I'm gonna mm -hmm. put some butter, garlic, um, Celery. 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 We already have sweet potato, actually. And for the amount we're making, um, we'll put the full recipe online for you guys, but we're just kind of showing you how to, how to make it today. Um, but we also put, for this amount, I put a half of a sweet potato. It's already boiling. So Vanessa, if you can help me, we're going to take this and put it in the pot that's boiling right now. Yeah, so we have Christina Odom, who actually said, love in cook equal. Dear friend, I hope all is well with you and that you are a as healthy in body as you are strong in spirit. Third John 2. And that's true. That's exactly what you guys are talking about, about having that love in the food that we were making. Um, and obviously, you know, it's biblical, you know what I mean, to, um, and everything that we do to show that love. So that looks amazing, ladies. Everything is going in the soup. Um, so baby, can you tell us a little bit as far as how long we should probably cook this for? Which I know you said about 30 minutes to an hour before you put it in the blender, right? Um, well, basically you're just gonna boil it until it's all um, nice and soft. Okay, so she said we're gonna boil it until it's nice and soft. So I sometimes forget because mine ends up turning into mush. Is that okay that we leave it a little bit long, too long? Um, I would say enough that so when you blend it, it actually um, blends, right? You okay. don't want to you don't want to make mashed potatoes out of it. Okay, so we're bowl. adding salt and pepper and all her amazing seasonings that let me tell you guys, I do not have. I when I told Vivian about when she started she started teaching me how to cook, all I had was salt and pepper. And that was all I had, salt and pepper. <laughs> and because of her, now I have, yes, I do have like Goya, I have seasoning salt, I have a lemon pepper, and then I have like garlic salt, I have, what else did I buy, Vivian? <laughs> well, what else did you buy, well, make me buy? <laughs> I will show you because, again, another staple in a Puerto Rican home is sasson. Yeah. You yes. must have sasson. Yes, and this is what... Yeah. This is what goes into that um, the, bean the bean soup, which <laughs> guys, for those of you that know me, it's habichuela guisada is what she's talking about. So good, yes. <laughs> but so to good. us, it's Auntie Vivian's bean soup. <laughs> <laughs> and so, um, so somebody is asking, what was the garlic powder you added? Oh, thank you so much for asking that. I wanted to touch, touch on that because... Um, yeah. I actually find this um, at, this one I found at a store named uh, Tuesdays, but you can find it at Burlington, you can find it at Ross, you can find it at um, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, like in the little food section. And so um, it's just garlic, onion blend. I have to tell you, it is phenomenal. Mm. Um, inside, let's see, what is this, what does it say? It says garlic, it's got red bell pepper, sugar, carrot, turmeric, parsley, I probably said that wrong, um, black pepper, coriander, oregano, cumin, sage, and chives. So all of those seasonings are in this one amazing bottle. Okay, so that was amazing. That was pretty amazing. So that's one of those things that, you, like you said, you can find like a Tuesday morning. I think yeah. you've also said you found it at TJ Maxx. Yes. And I remember you said this is something, it makes you feel like you're making this this um, meal fancy. It's just turned <laughs> yes. it up a notch. It's not just a regular... Um, salt and pepper. It's not just regular salt and pepper. It's like one of those bougie things that it's like, it's okay to yes. add that bougie to to yes. your meal. And you also just really want to remember, um, so... Um, chick you boil it in chicken stock. Um, we're a little bit, you know, a little bit out of order of cooking it, but that's all right because it's all, it's really in one dish, right? So um, chicken stock versus, versus chicken broth. Yes. Ooh. Chicken broth is really already a soup made. This is really more from the, made from the bone. Yes, yeah, so it's mm. stockier. Stockier harder. for when you're making soup. So you want to yeah. use a chicken stock. I particularly like the organic one because it's only made with fresh ingredients and not a bunch of yeast and fillers. So it just gives it a different taste. Okay, yeah. awesome. 
So yes. another thing that we like to do, uh, right now that Vanessa's actually <laughs> pouring her drink, so this is what we kind of all have, is the sparkly drinks. Yes. And one thing that um, is special for us that we have kids, right? Yeah. We love to include our kids and making yeah. it involve <clears throat> them. And so that's one thing that we do add is I serve my kids sparkling cider or a sparkly bubbly drink because, you know, just to make it, it's like mm -hmm. my, my daughter, you know, the princess things that they do is like clink, clink, clink. Oh, yes. Yes. Cheers. Cheers. You know I mean? <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> and so that's one thing that I like to do to involve yeah. my kids. Now, Vivian, what is, what is a way that I know you have a way of making our meals or like this holiday season, people are struggling. You know, oh. we're not, not everybody's working. Um, things are tough. So what is the one thing that you have done in the past to help people, you know, be able to still create a beautiful meal, a beautiful yeah. setting? Um, and I think we have a couple of pictures. If you could talk about this with us, please. Um, well, so some may frown upon this, um, but in my home, we prefer what goes on the plate than the actual plate itself. And we prefer the time and quality that we spend together. So I actually used to go to the dollar store um, and actually find really nice Thanksgiving plates. It came with napkins. It came with really, you know, colorful col um, cutlery, mm -hmm. right? And so, and it even came with cups. And then you'd be able to just set your table. Um, I'm not sure if we have that picture up right now or not, but that's a picture of what my Thanksgiving used to look like in New York. Mm -hmm. And so we'd set it. Um, for roughly around 30, 40 people, and they'd come and we'd set um, like a buffet style. Um, we'd set the food, I'd That's have so hors d'oeuvres. Um, and honestly, like I would buy, um, chick um, to make, for example, um, I would have meatballs, and I would just, there's a recipe that I make, and don't yuck my yum until you taste it, right? <laughs> but it's grape jelly and ketchup. Wow. You mix equal amounts of the same. No and way. you buy the frozen um, meatballs mm -hmm. and you just put that in your crock pot and let that cook. Wow. My nephew Gotta used to love it. And I would take it for work sometimes, a very affordable meal, um, and it's really good. I would also have, for example, I'd take um, croissants the, mm, and cut them in, you know, and to make pigs in a blanket. Mm, Versus yes. buying them already made, mm -hmm. you can just make them at a fraction of a cost. And I just have a whole bunch of other things because I am a penny pincher, right? <laughs> because not all of us have it like that. And so it looks pretty. And again, what goes on that plate is so much more and more important than yeah. that plate itself. And frankly, yeah. I didn't want to wash those dishes all the time. Yeah. <laughs> so, yay, I don't like washing dishes either. <laughs> so actually, I have a couple people that are asking, saying that your tres leches is amazing. <gasps> so we got to try no. that one. I oh. heard. It's my favorite. Oh, maybe. I heard. <laughs> Get that recipe out there for everybody. Another person said the eggplant parmesan Yum. you make apparently is amazing. Go yes. Go 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 well, maybe we'll have another cooking show and we'll show you other things. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And so somebody said that yes, the Dollar Tree has the best stuff for decorating for table presentation. And yes, guys, it's not about how expensive the plates are, the cups mm -hmm, are. Mm -hmm. It's like we said, it's the love that we're pouring into this, these meals. Yes. And, um, you know, it's just yummy. Absolutely. It is yummy. So, before I continue, and while we're waiting for this amazing, amazing um, ingredients to cook and blend together, we're going to talk a little bit about our aprons. Yes. And our shirts. Yes. What do you I think? I couldn't wait. I couldn't wait. Come on. Do you, guys, do you guys like the logo or what? Come on. You tell me it's not adorable. The, the colors. The yes. pockets. Yes. So cute. So this apron is super amazing. And it has another cute little trick. So I'm a short person. I'm like, I'm like the kid size. I still shop in the kids department because I'm short. But God made me this way. So I am thankful and grateful. That's right. Now, I always, one thing I always have. Uh, issue with with like grown up aprons because you know it's a what kid cooks right but <laughs> is is this part the top you know I could never get it right because I'm too small or so my husband would tie a knot in the back but then I'm like okay how do I take it off when I'm done without messing up my yeah, hair that's right my makeup yeah. getting all the whatever is on here not on here <laughs> yeah. and so I love these because it has that this the adjustable really, yeah. yes it's adjustable so guys. cool yes. so you pull it at like where you tie it and there we go Perfect. Mm -hmm. yes. And then you tie it up when you're done. You untie yeah. it. 
and bam. It doesn't catch on your hair too. No. Which, which and I then love. there you go. No mess up the makeup. No mess no up on my hair. hair. It's now, perfect. We have something amazing. So four of you guys are gonna yes. get an apron Woo! free. Woo! Woo! We would love to give you guys an apron for free. So we have some questions yes. to see if you guys have been following us along, yes. remember what we talked about. I mean, it's just whatever. <laughs> All right. We have our first question. What was the wait, topic? Wait, wait, I'm sorry. So who gets it? The first person that answers. Okay. Get on the phone. Pay attention. Pay attention <laughs> to the question. So the first one, what was the topic of the first show? Of our first show, what was the top topic about? Was it about love? Was it about Jesus? <laughs> was it? Don't confuse no, it. No, come on. Don't Did anybody answer? Did anybody answer? Let's see. Come on, guys. Let us know. Let us know. Oh, look. Oh, um, Christina loves our merch. Yes, guys. We will definitely have these available. This is like a great Christmas present or the holidays yeah. coming around. Yes. You know, the next yeah. few yeah. weeks. A great um, present to give the hostess wherever you guys might be going. Oh, yes. Um, because, so yes. Cool. You know what I mean? It's it's beautiful. And represent, guys. Right? Come on. <laughs> so where do they go to look for our stuff? For our so merch? actually. Oh, wait. Do oh, we have an answer? Yes. Christina. Oh, well, let's see. Uh, we have Ava said homeschooling. Uh, Close. And then, oh, well, actually, yes. Ava won. She said homeschool and then said during a pandemic. Yeah! Oh, okay. Eva, you're getting one. Yay. <laughs> awesome. Let's write this down so you don't forget. Yeah, so Ava, we're going to be sending this to you. So please send us a personal message, a DM to um, with your address so that we can send this out to you. Oh, I have it. Oh, Vivian has it. I got you, Eva. <laughs> okay, so next question we have was... How many of us are homeschooling moms? So let us know how many of us homeschool. So if you guys watched our first episode, yes, it was um, distance learning during a pandemic. And we talked about this, you know, mm -hmm. and everybody thinks homeschooling and distance learning is the same thing. So let us know how many of us are homeschooling moms. So let's see. Oh, let's see. I do see that people did watch us. Oh, Ava saying send some soup too with the apron. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if the soup will make it. <laughs> Along with the apron, but I promise we will send you the apron. We will make it smell like that. Okay, okay. so we have our answer. So our Michelle said three. Moses said two. And the answer is two. two. Yes, yeah, so two of us are actually homeschooling moms. Myself and Vanessa are homeschooling moms. Um, Lisa, I'm distance learning. She's a distance learning mom. <laughs> we do need his address. So we do need your address. So please send us your address. Send us a personal message and we will love to send you your yes. personal Imperfect But Love apron. <laughs> okay, so now we have our third question. And our third question is, this is a good one. Let's see if you guys remember this. Who is our wise advisor? Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. I love that. <laughs> that, was that was yes, so please let us know. Who is our wise advisor? Who is it? Is it Vivian? Is it <laughs> Vanessa? Uh -huh. Is it Jesus? Lisa? Is it Jesus? <laughs> Anyone? Anyone? Yes, anyone. Please let us know. <laughs> oh, oh. oh! Yes. Yes, we do have a person and Rebecca Garcia. Yay! Yes, Rebecca, we will be getting one of these out to you. Please send us a personal message again so that we can get this to you to the right address. And you're going to have something amazing yes. to flaunt this yeah. Thanksgiving season. I was gonna okay. say, imagine if Christina's with me. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? That would have been funny. Technically, she would be right. Well, thank you, Christina, for not giving the Did answer. Did she save me? No, no, she didn't. But I'm like, thank you. Oh, no, but she, she wrote her name. Oh. You know, yes, but she but wasn't Rebecca. the first person. Uh, <laughs> the first she one. couldn't have guessed it, though. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, Too Christina. <laughs> we love you. Yes. Okay, so we have one last one to give. And, um,. 
Actually, we, have, we might have two, but let's see. So the next question says, or who, who has, has who has the most kids and how many? Which one of us has the most kids and how many? Hmm. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's see if you guys remember this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so oh, everyone's getting props to Rebecca. Yes. yes. <laughs> Rebecca. Okay. Oh, somebody said that Vivian was our wise advisor. Mm-hmm. Someone said God. We actually had a few people saying God. And you know what? God is also yes, our wise absolutely. advisor. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yes. We always look at the, our Bible, um, seek yes. answers. Yes. And, um, you know, before yeah. we were talking, um, right. Vanessa, okay. Vivian. Vivian, Vanessa. Oh, man. <laughs> two B's. Two B's. <laughs> you were looking at, up on the Bible, right? Yes. About? Um, Proverbs 31. Mm-hmm. And... Actually, have it here. Do you guys want me to read it? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. This was in my heart, really. Um, it's Proverbs 10, and it says, A wife of a noble character who can find she's worth far more than rubies. Her husband has full confidence in her and lacks nothing in value. Um, she brings him good, not harm, of the days of her life. She selects wool and flax and works with eager hands. She is like a merchant. Ships brings her food from afar um she gets up while it's still night she provides food for her family this is what we're doing yes and portions to her female servant and uh you guys need to check this this uh this passage it is so beautiful for real this is like hashtag goals Mm -hmm. that we should all be looking because this this woman is like she works and she it says that she even um you know, takes care of her money and her home and her husband and her children. It's just like, okay, that's my goal. (laughs) (laughs) And that's awesome. And and never in that passage do we hear that she is perfect. Yeah, that's right. Never do we hear that she is striving for perfection. That's right. No, she's just serving. And that's what we should do. Yeah. Just as Jesus did, that's what he told us to do, to serve. He never asked us to be perfect because he knew we couldn't be perfect. That's right. That's right. Amen. So we do have a winner. And it was Christina Odom. Oh! <laughs> she wrote Lisa <laughs> with seven. Oh! <laughs> she wants that yes! yes! Yay! Oh, the other one. Okay, and so we have one last one, and this is a tricky one. Let's see if you guys really paid attention to this one. It was a little like side note, and we all laughed about it. What is Vivian's dog's name? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Mm-mm-mm. How Don't many dogs does she have? Don't say it. <laughs> How many dogs does she have? But it's her what favorite is... dog. <laughs> yes. Which one is her favorite? Yes. So let's see. We did have a couple people answering that question before. And um, so, yes, after Lisa, it is Vanessa um, with four, and then myself with three, and then Vivian with two. How awesome. And then half. Yes. I'm still going to count Abby because she's going to be her daughter soon. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's right. We're gonna add another daughter to that family. <laughs> okay. So we have actually somebody answered Anna, and she said Zoe. And oh, no. Zoe is my favorite dog. No. Zoe is actually your dog. What is it? Grand dog. Your grand dog. Actually, you're right because she is Abby's yeah. and Jasmine's. So technically not yours. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Okay. There's one more. One yeah. more. Yes. So two people already said one Zoe. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> So let's see who remembers this. All who right. remembers? Da, 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 Just give them like da, 10 da, seconds da, da. and see if they remember. Yes. Um, and it's, and our, we all remember. Oh, they forgot about her. They already <gasps> forgot about her. You see, I don't blame you. <laughs> <laughs> this is how much she loves this dog, guys. <laughs> uh, Terry from Florida must not be on. Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh. we do have somebody. Sabrina, but I already won, so send soup. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Um, we will give you the details as far as um, 
you know, how much how much they cost. Well, not how much they cost, but where you can send us the payment. And then that way we can get your address so we can send them to you guys. Yes. Now the price for both of these is $15. $15 for the apron and $15 for this beautiful shirt. They're super soft. They're women's size shirts. So they're not like the men's size. Yeah, they, they fit are, nice. Yes, they're fitted shirts. I'm wearing the small. And um, so again, they're women's size. So they are a little bit more fit, um, fitted. Okay, fitted. Like you said, they're very fitted. So, But they are also soft, right? They are very soft. They feel and soft. They don't feel like... Your, um, like my husband, or my husband when he was little said, no, no se siente uno como choricito. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, we feel pretty good in them. So if you guys are interested in our um, Imperfect But Love apron or shirt, please send us a personal message. We would love to get these out to you. Again, these are perfect. Well, we think they're perfect gifts for yes, Thanksgiving, for Christmas. For Christmas. Christmas yes, because birthdays. you know what? It's not just us who are Imperfect But Love. Yes. But everyone, yes. you know, we're all imperfect and we are all loved. Jesus loves yes. us all. That's so right. again, yes. they're $15 plus the shipping and handling. I didn't say that. I'm sorry. But they are $15. Even these are pretty tough. That's really, these, I have to say, this apron, the material, guys, is really good. Yeah. I've, I've had many different ones in my lifetime of cooking. Yeah. And this is a really good one. And you can tell it's going to wash very good, too. It's so shiny, too. <laughs> Yes, they are. And they have two super deep pockets. Yes. yes. You know what I mean? So I don't know. If I, I, again, I'm still learning to cook. Um, there we go. See, we can see the, the, the deep pockets on here. And I don't know what you put in them because, again, I'm still learning to cook, but <laughs> they're there. <laughs> Apparently, yeah. people use them. Towels. You can put <laughs> a towel in there, right, as you're, um, yeah. as you're working and going through. Um, some, I don't happen to have one here, but sometimes yeah. you can have a towel and to dry your hands. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so yes, okay, we have these. So yes, send us a message. So we looks like we already have some people um, that would like these. Thank you guys. Thank we feel you. so loved. You guys have no idea. Amazing. And again, um, all of this is just going back into the ministry, guys. Oh, yes, absolutely. You know, none of this, it's not for profit. It's just going yeah. back into the ministry because we want to reach um, more women. Um, and not just women, but I, I from what we've, the messages we've received, even guys like to yeah. watch the show. Yeah. And so we hope that it is a blessing to all of you. Yeah. Um, so as far as dinners, guys, dun, dun, dun. Okay, so we do have one more picture to show. And I, like I mentioned before, okay, my kids, okay, two of my kids are good eaters. No problem. But one of them, oh my gosh, like he was living on three things on his, the entire food group. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> but he tried the soup and it was so funny because he called it or I called it mac and cheese soup because he liked mac he liked mac and cheese and he and it looks like mac and cheese you know so he's like <laughs> mac, and he gave me like the weirdest look he's like why is it like all mixed up why where's the pasta and I'm like it's all blended it's in there <laughs> and so I got him to try it and he loved it you know what I mean which is my pickiest eater I got him to eat vegetables yay well fruit vegetables <laughs> And so we have this picture. Vanessa, can you tell yes. us a little bit about this picture? Yes. Okay. So don't be jelly, but <laughs> or jealous. Not jelly. We <laughs> <laughs> made us a, a soup, Aww. and we took it home, and it was so delicious. And um, my son, at like midnight, he just woke up, and he's like, "Mom, can we get some more Viv's soup?" And I'm like, "Yeah, absolutely. It's uh, it's uh, 1 a.m. But okay, let's go get some soup. I mean." Who doesn't love your kid that eats that eats so like you know nutritious and stuff? And it just made me so happy. So I took a picture to show you that not only are we grateful for you as a friend, mm -hmm. but it, your food is so delicious that my child woke me up in the middle of the night to get extra. And you know he's he's one of those special little kids. He loves greens. He loves salads. He loves what did greens. he eat it with? And he ate it with uh, broccoli. <laughs> and he was like, "Mom, you gotta try this. So good." I'm like, "I know, I know." I was like, my eyes were like barely, you know, opening. But yeah, he loved it. And he the next morning he asked for more, but it was all gone. Cause Aww. I joined him. <laughs> I had to join him. When yes. she sent that picture, my heart just melted. Oh. So yes, so, guys, so, it was so good. if you have picky eaters this holiday season, let them try this and tell them it's mac and cheese soup. <laughs> and after they try it and they love it, then you can be like, actually, you just ate uh, butternut squash and carrots and celery, all those things that you would never eat. 
You just did. <laughs> <laughs> and there's so many variations to this soup, too. There are, right? Yeah. So yes. many. I, I did ask Vivian, I'm like, have you ever added cauliflower? Because my husband asked me. Yeah. He's like, can we try That's adding cauliflower? Because I'm going to try to make this on my own for Thanksgiving. <laughs> Pray for me. Um, but he asked me, can we add some cauliflower just to make it even heartier? And I asked yeah. Vivian, and I called her, I'm like, hey, have you ever made it with cauliflower? And she's like, I don't know. I've never done that. But you can try it. And I was just like... <laughs> Okay, I will, and I'll let you know how it goes. So guys, if you yes. decide to cook this meal for your family this holiday season, please let us know. Send us those pictures, okay? And for all of you who do try it out, okay, we will have a raffle. Ooh, bam, bam, yes. Bam. If you send us a picture of you making yes. this dish, please. And what, either, even if it's exactly the same, we, like um, the recipe that we're yes. going to post, or if you add a little spin to yes, it. Yes, yes, absolutely. Yes, let us know what your spin Fabulous. was. And we will raffle one off on our next show live, okay? For whoever sends it to us, please. So Viv, I think the thing is ready, right? Yes. It's been boiling for about 30 minutes yes. or so. So let's um, <clears throat> look at this video now. Um, we're going to switch over to the stove, guys. Okay, so I'm going to have Vanessa. We're going to let Vanessa... Um, <laughs> No, I, I would, yeah, if it's too hot, it's okay. All right, so we're going to use, um, here. We don't want you to burn yourself. Okay. So we're going to um, pour it into my blender here. Carefully. You don't want to burn yourself. The juice and everything? Yep, yep. Okay, so we're going to put everything, guys. The juice, the broth that it was cooking in, all the yummy, yep. yummy goodness mm -hmm. of vegetables. No, and then no. um, it might be too she's, much. she's gonna put it into um, to blend. Now, Vivian, what if I don't have a blender? Can I use like something else, like a, an immersion blender, maybe? Oh yes, actually, um, I was telling my husband that I wanted one, and he said you don't need one. So I'm gonna put one on my Elfster anyway for Christmas, because who doesn't want one of those? Those are super neat. You can make smoothies and a cup. But yes, if you have one of those, you can use that too. Yeah. You you know what? I've actually been telling my husband the same thing. I want an immersion blender. And now, with this soup, I have an excuse oh, there to you get go. an immersion blender. Because, yes, I would be a million times easier to do it with that type of a blender. All right. So, obviously, we made a smaller amount than normal, um, you know, for, sakes, for sake of the show. Um, and so, since it's really hot in there, you want to make sure you keep it open if you have a blender that's got a little lid. A lid. Keep that open before okay. you blend it. And then, um, do you know how to use this one? No? Want me to do it? Okay. So we're just going to turn it over. Might be a little noisy, but um, you just blend it up and fill it up a lot, so it might uh, spill a little bit. But... Yeah, that's right. I Love Lucy episode, right? Is that what you said? <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> so you get the gist, right? Yeah. So you'll blend it all together, um, and then it'll end up looking like this so, okay so while Viv is changing um, the pots around guys and putting the rest of the book the book um, the soup what it's gonna look like after you guys blend it and it's all creamy and super yummy and delicious um, we'll, we're gonna show you right now what, what it should look like at the end and again guys if you are interested in the aprons or the shirts please send us a DM. I know Christina said, um, put that information out there and some of you guys already said that you guys are gonna love, um, purchase it. Thank you so much. Again, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, it is such a huge blessing. You know, many people think that doing this is um, super, you know, that there, there are no costs into doing things online, you know, but we are a ministry. We are with Church 4610 and we're, you know, we wanna grow. Um, we want to reach more people for Jesus. And again, it, this might just seem like a, a plain show. Um, come sit, come over here. This might seem just like a plain show, but it's not just a show for us. You know, yeah. we really, this show was never intended just to chat. We didn't want to just be another yeah. talk show. You know, we wanted to be able to touch you guys in way and show you how God has touched our lives, changed our lives. Um, because again, we are not just talking to talk. Um, we want to show you guys the love of Jesus. And Amen. so again, we want this ministry to grow. 
Yeah. And we want to reach more um, women and um, men and, you know, children to the Lord. And so, again, if you guys want to, um, don't have a church to follow, but we are church 40, part of Church 4610, uh, we are online every Sunday. We have a Spanish service and an English service. Our Spanish service is at? 10. And our English service is at? 11. 11, yes. So, um, okay, so it looks like we have everything plated. So, Vivian, what else would um, we do with... Um, once you plate it, what is this? Oh, so you have to serve it with a dollop of daisy, okay. right? Some sour cream. Um, and you can serve it. I was looking online, like, what do you serve it with? Because normally I make this as part of my uh, Thanksgiving dish, right? Uh, as, as a side, I normally have the turkey and we have the rice and rice, uh, the mac and cheese and all that fun stuff. But it's also, you can serve it just with some bread um, or a side salad, right? Soup and salad. Um, but that's how you can serve it. So I'm just getting a little bit of dollop of daisy here together. And a lot That's or so a little good. bit, just right in the center. Um, I'll get another spoon because that one's got a lot of sour cream on it. Okay, so Vanessa, so your good. daughter is saying, Mom, send me a bowl. <laughs> <laughs> and, <Vivian. laughs> oh, and there you go. And that's how you will serve um, your butternut squash soup with a slice of bread and a dollop of daisy and enjoy. Yeah. So I don't know about you guys, but who wants to taste it? I do, please, <laughs> in Jesus' name. <laughs> We've already prayed. <laughs> Here, I have actually oh. a spoon for all of you. Yay. Oh, and I love um, the soup, guys. It's super creamy. I um, have added a few other things into mine. Um, I think Eve last time tried to put some pe pepper flakes in there because oh. I don't know why my husband likes it spicy. <laughs> I don't, um, but he's mar he married a spicy woman, so I get it. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, we're ready to try this, guys? Yeah, here's one. Yes. Go ahead. Okay, here we Cheers. go. Oh, my God. Let's do it. Mix that up in there. Sour cream in there. Okay. Okay. Cheese. Cheese. Um, cheers. Cheers. <laughs> cheers, guys. Mm. Mm. Guys, it is delicious. So good. Especially now that it's getting cold. Wow. Granted, we live in California, okay, so, so like we don't it's really been know what. Oh no, but it's, it's been cold. It's been cold. <laughs> These coasters, it's been cold. I woke up the other day cold. and it was 39 degrees. So good. It That's doesn't true. happen here. That's so true. So true. And so it, yes, wow. it doesn't. But at least we don't get snow. We don't. I know. Not now where we're at. So good. You know, we don't get snow. <laughs> but um, this is like such a good meal. Such mm. a good warm. Like warmness to your to my tummy. Heart. Like Vivian said at the beginning, this is such a comfort yeah. dish. Yes. And it totally is, guys. It is comfort food to the max. It's filling. It's, it's very it filling. Is. It's super yeah. filling. It is. It I really is. It. And, and, granted, we'll ask for seconds and thirds, and it is filling, but then you'll feel like, oh my gosh, I shouldn't have the third bowl. But then you're yes. like, oh, but it's so good. And then you wake up in the middle of the night and you're like, I wonder if there's any more soup left. It's just that dish that you can't stop eating. Because yes. you just have to have more and more. And, and you don't feel so guilty good. because you're like, you know, it's a soup, so it can't and be that many veggies. calories. And there's veggies. And oh, there's veggies. Oh, one important piece. Mm -hmm. We almost forgot. Oh, yes. Holy moly. Oh, yes. This adds to the creaminess. So, so because it was already made, you know, the magic of television, right? Or the magic <laughs> of, of, of live. Yeah. Um, so, we blend it all together, and you put it in the crock pot, and then you add... Depending how much you make, from a half a cup to about a cup of heavy cream, so mix that in there really good into the crock pot and let it sit. I made this earlier today and it's been sitting in the crock pot on warm for about four or five hours. Mm. It's usually the first um, meal I'll make on Thanksgiving morning so that it can sit all day and just marinate the flavors and that cream just gets in there really good. Mm -hmm. So don't forget the heavy cream. Um, again, if you as you can, I was going to say, as you can tell, we didn't use it, but we did because that's the one I made earlier. Um, but um, there's, again, different variations. So if, you, if you're lactose intolerant, you don't, you can't have this or something, you know, and you try it a different way, please, please, please share with us. But you cannot forget, at least my recipe has heavy cream. Yeah. So um, Ava said, there goes my intermittent fasting. <laughs> yeah. So there goes the intermittent fasting, guys. <laughs> Sorry, Ava. Um, but you know what? It, it was made with love. Mm -hmm. You know, it's so funny. I always tell you guys. 
During the holidays, calories don't count. On the weekends, the calories don't count. <laughs> Granted, it is Wednesday, but it's a holiday. That's yes. right. Oh, it is. So we want to oh, say yes. thank you to all of our veterans. Thank yes. you for your, for your service. service. <laughs> yes, Thanks. thank you. This, our pastor yes, um, our served, pastor I served. think, 11 years. How many terms? 13. 13 yes. years. Okay, wow. so thank so, you. Thank um, you so pastor. much. Thank you for keeping us. Sorry, it's 11. <laughs> okay, 11. Sorry, the soup got me. Well, <laughs> well I, actually, and this would probably be another show, but as a military <laughs> wife, it probably felt like 13, huh? 20. 20, <laughs> see? So that'll probably be yeah. another show to talk about. Yeah, so thank yeah. you guys for your service to all the men and women yes. um, who are serving, who have served. Thank you. Um, because you guys, we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you guys. We would yes. not be um, a free country. Uh, we would not have our freedom That's right. um, compared yeah. to other countries, right? Yeah. So thank you, thank you, thank you. All the love yes. goes out to yes. you guys. Yes. yes. Um, and yes, we honor you. Yes, we honor you. We pray for you and your families. Yes, like Vivian said, I'm sure it felt longer for Vanessa yeah. um, while he was away. You know, we all have a friend, I'm sure, that served and have heard stories of how hard it is, yeah. yes. you know, on the family members. And I can't imagine um, how hard it was, you know. I mean, it wasn't too long ago that we actually went through a war. That's you know? right. Yeah. That's right. You know, we can say, well, before this last war, it was like, oh, World War One, World War Two. Mm -hmm. We didn't know what that meant, no. but we do know, you know. Um, so make them some soup. Yeah. So make yes, make them some soup, some beautiful soup, some delicious, yummy soup. <laughs> 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 so um, again, now one last thing, guys. Yes. What are your plans this holiday season? What will you be making, Vivian? Oh. What is besides this dish? <laughs> what is another favorite? Of yours for Thanksgiving. for Thanksgiving and don't say tamales <laughs> no honestly I don't know how to make tamales um, that's definitely um, I believe it's a Mexican thing a South uh, South America thing um, I don't know I wish I love them but that's one thing I'll probably want to learn one day um, but on our menu usually we have green beans um, mac and cheese uh, we have a broccoli and chicken dish that we make that my sister-in-law used to make. Um, of course, Puerto Rican arroz con gandules. Mm. Um, have you guys tried that? So good. <laughs> so good, good, good stuff, good. right? That's good stuff. Um, I'll Plantains. probably make a turkey. Uh, plantains. It's hard to find them in California, guys, the, the green plantains. Yeah. Um, but so that's good. not necessarily something I would make for Thanksgiving. That's more of a Christmas dish. Someone's we, asking oh. if you're going to make your ham. Ooh. I'm making ham. <laughs> yes, I am making my ham, um, turkey. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to make pernil, which is what we call roast pork, which is very, very equivalent to carnitas. Okay. Um, but I'm not sure if I'm going to make that yet. But that's a little bit of what it consists of. And of course, you must make desserts. Um, yeah. So I'll probably make a. Ch um, I, I'm coming I know over. I'm coming over. So what time is dinner? <laughs> what time is dinner? <laughs> Six o'clock. Six o'clock. We'll um, so you have to make so desserts. Cute. I'll probably make. Um, um, actually, my, a friend of mine is is starting a little business, and I'm ordering from her a pumpkin cheesecake, which I could make, yeah. but I'm gonna honor her, and I'm That's gonna awesome. order it from her. I'm excited to taste it. Yeah. Um, so we'll have so pumpkin good. cheesecake. Um, I'll probably make my tres leche, mm. um, <laughs> and then something called Williamsburg bread that my kids absolutely yeah. adore, and actually um, Eva's daughter loves Williamsburg bread. I used to make that for her. Every time I make yeah. something, it reminds me of someone that loved it and I would make it for her. But Williamsburg bread, that could be a recipe I'll show you next time. That's awesome. So one thing that she said that um, Vivian actually mentioned is that she was buying from someone local. Guys, yes. please, you know, to so all cool. of our um, people who are doing things from their homes, mm -hmm. you know, whether it's so cupcakes, cool. cakes, signs, um, cup things, yeah aprons, shirts, yes. you know, um, try to buy local as much as you can, guys. These people, you know, are amazing. They have great hearts. Yes. And they're yes. just trying to, you know, support their families. Yes. Do something, you know, and come on, Amazon yes. makes gazillions of dollars. Target makes gazillions yes. of dollars. Yes. You know what I mean? They don't need our money this holiday season. <laughs> you know, our mom and pop shops do, you know, That's our right. local... Yes. Um, vendors do yes. you know yes. so reach out to them yes um yes. maybe we'll post a few that Ooh. we love that we support, we support yes. Yes. that we have personally absolutely used, you know what yes. i mean because you know then yeah. we can actually you know back back that up you know but if you have any vendors that you love let yes. us know yes you know what i mean that way we can share the love um and help everybody 
Yes. Okay, now, Vanessa, what is your favorite dish My during favorite, Thanksgiving? So, I have a few, but the one that everybody tells me that's so good is my sweet yams. Mmm. And, um, yes. And I just, everybody's like, you're going to make that this year, right? Yes, I'm going to make it this year. Bring that. And I, you know, I put it in the oven, and I, um, and I put, um, um, no, I'm not going to tell you my favorite recipe, <laughs> but, but it's so delicious, and, um. And yeah, that's my that's what I'm gonna be doing this year. Okay. okay. Not sure if we're gonna have turkey mm -hmm. this year, but we'll see. Mm -hmm. Okay. Definitely mm -hmm. the ham has to be there. That's right. Oh, okay. So Lisa, yeah. what is your favorite dish for Thanksgiving? <sighs> that I eat? Because I don't cook. Yeah. <laughs> that I eat. Um, well with my husband's family, it's if you know my husband, he has a large family. Um, and they do everything. They do from stuffed turkey to a fried turkey to tamales to carne de puerco en chile rojo and chile verde. Oh my goodness. It's just a buffet. So, so it's like enough it's, to feed, feed the neighborhood. Yes, uh, pretty much. But um, this year, it, it might look a little bit different. A little That's bit right. different. Um, but we'll make the best of it. That's Amen. right. Yes. Amen. Yes. So we know that some of us, um, some of, of, of you guys, you know, we've lost family this year. Mm -hmm. It has yeah. not been easy. a regular year. You know what I mean? It has not been easy. Mm -hmm. And um, yes, the holidays might look a lot different yeah. for a lot yes. of us, you know, yes. for a lot of you guys. Um, and we pray for okay. you guys, Yes. you know, and we'll talk a lot more in depth about that in the next, um, our next show next in December. Um, because we know it's mm -hmm. a struggle. Yes. It's not easy when somebody leaves us, um, you know, and gets to um, meet God before all of us. Yeah. You know, even though we're happy, you know, because they're with the Lord. Oh yes. And um, but it still hurts Absolutely. not having that person around. Yeah. Yes. Um, so you know. Um, Sorry. It will be different. No, 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 no absolutely different. not. Please don't <laughs> no, be no, sorry. sorry. You know, no. uh, you know, like you said, it will be different. It will be definitely you know, different. But um, the love is still there. Yes. You know, um, which is amazing. Mm -hmm. Which that is the one thing that never changes. The love that we yes. have for each yes. other, you know. So it's just, you know, just hug your kids a little bit longer. You know, hug your mom, your dad, your brother, your sister. Just mm -hmm. hug them a little bit longer because you never know. Yeah. Um, what tomorrow will bring, you know, we just it's never promised. Yeah. Yes. No, it isn't. It's not mm -hmm. promised. So there we go. Um, oh, Christina says, Lisa, may I please um, get to go? <laughs> get to go play. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's awesome, guys. So yes, everybody makes amazing dishes. Um, I personally, like I said, I don't like cooking. And every Thanksgiving, I think since we got my husband and I got married, I've tried different recipes. Let me tell you. I made one time um, cupcakes. They were um, chocolate chipotle cupcakes. And okay, that chipotle? sounds disgusting, right? That, that just does not go well. But <laughs> it was actually pretty good. Okay. Okay, not, okay, don't take my word on it because again, I do not eat my desserts. I, I, I just can't. I feel you. <laughs> I can't. Me neither, me neither. <laughs> my husband does all the tasting. So I made these cupcakes and everybody loved them. Like they were gone before I even got up for dessert. So that's no. a good thing, right? Okay. Yes. So I, but I've always tried like weird recipes during the holidays because I'm not going to try them, but everybody else around me will. <laughs> and my husband's family is super honest, super blunt. And so I, I'm okay with that because I'm like, hey, if they like it, then it's good. That's mm -hmm. right. But if they don't, I'm okay too <laughs> because it's family. You know what I mean? It's like they're going to be honest with me. But the one thing I'm looking forward to is deep fried turkey. Yum. I know. Yes. It's not so the juicy. best thing. Oh, it's, it's so good. It's so so good. Actually, yes. I've heard her husband's I, deep fried turkey. So good. We've heard. <laughs> we so good. Yeah. So good. Yes. So we will definitely so juicy. have mm. um, the deep fried turkey this year. Thank you, Jesus. And I'm actually excited because this, I think this is going to be the first year our kids are going to get to see Evan deep fry the turkey. Oh, They've never sad. seen it because I'm like, oh, you're going to fall into the thing. <laughs> but I think now they're old enough, my yeah. youngest is old enough that he will not touch it. That's right. Yes. Um, so I'm looking forward to that this That'd holiday season. So guys, um, we've come to the end of yes. our um, amazing show. Thank you guys for watching. We've had some amazing comments 
Um, actually, Vivian, it looks like you're going to have some people visiting you. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> including <laughs> <laughs> including <laughs> us. <laughs> We're making plans to come visit you. <laughs> what time? What time? Don't say something you can't keep. <laughs> my heart. My heart can't take it. <laughs> yeah. So, guys, please stay in touch with us. Um, reach out to us at Imperfect um, But Love on Facebook. Stay in touch with us at um, imperfect.but.love on Instagram. Our website will be launching soon. So we hope yes. that we can um, see you guys um, on our website. And eventually we will have, like Lisa said, we will have our merch on our website. So we can't wait. We're excited for that. And again, one last thing. If you guys want these cool things... Yes. They look pretty nifty. Yes. <laughs> so reach out to us. Again, they're $15 and plus yes. shipping. So send us a personal message because we don't want you guys sending out your credit card out here <laughs> on the world to know, right? <laughs> so again, guys, thank you. Our next one is December 4th. 4th. No. 9th. Uh, second week of December. Second week of December. <laughs> second nine. Wednesday. Nine. December 9th. It's the 9th. Yes. Um, and we, we're kind of excited for that one too, guys. Again, we will be somewhere else. Not this beautiful kitchen. Yes. <laughs> but it'll be an exciting show, and we can't wait. Um, again, we will be talking about how, you know, the changes, the different, the difference that this um, year 2020 has brought and mm. the changes, and how a lot of us are going to be dealing with it. That's right. Yes. And helping our families through it because um, we're helping each other through yes. this. Along, you know, Jesus is helping us giving us that supernatural strength that we might not, you know, we don't understand yeah. why That's right. things are happening, mm -hmm. but we're having, we're walking in that faith. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yes. Yes. He knows why he knew this was going to happen. He knew, um, why it was going to happen. And now we're just waiting on him. We're Amen. faithfully waiting and trusting in the Lord. Amen. 100%. Yes. Amen. So thank you guys for joining us. We are Jelly, Lisa, Vanessa, and Vivian. And we are imperfect. But loved. loved. Somos imperfectas. Pero amadas. So we'll see you guys in December. Love you all. Love, Love you all. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.